an area rich in history, a dodgy past Bangrak means village of love. And this is a place along Charan Kung Road between Saton Road and Silom Roads where there's a lot going on in a pretty small area. And that is where we're going to be exploring. So welcome to Bangrak. A century ago, if you were the adventurous type looking for sex, drugs, booze, gambling, partying, that kind of thing, then you may have found yourself in Bang Rack, or if you were really lucky, you may have found yourself down one of these alleyways. In the 1800s, a lot of Chinese immigrants from Hong Kong were arriving in places like Bang Rak, and as a result, this area became very crowded very quickly. It soon became well known for its narrow soys, alleyways and secret passages, even to this day. I'm trying to picture the scene around here, say a hundred years ago when the place was in full swing. You'd be walking around here at night seeing the green lanterns hanging outside the brothels, the murmuring and the chatter coming from the upstairs windows, the drinking dens where people talk and then argue as the night goes on and more booze gets consumed. And of course the opium smoke hanging in the air. And then all the while you've got the casino right in the middle with its all male Chinese opera dance troupe whipping the punters into a frenzy, getting them to drink more and spend more money, people losing money, having fights, and just imagine if you won a load of money and had to make your way out of here, all these alleyways and dark soils, it would have been pretty disorientating, so maybe I'm glad I wasn't around here a hundred years ago. And if you wanted to repent of all your sins in those days, you'd have to learn to do it in Cantonese because Saton Church, when they opened in 1919, they were only offering services for Chinese immigrants from Hong Kong. Of course, more recently, they are offering services in Thai and English, plus online as well. So we'll start off by walking down some of the soys. Soy 50 is where Bangrak Bazaar is. Soy 48 was swallowed up by Robinsons. So the next one is Soy 46. While the machetes are hanging up, the chopping boards are all clean. Bangrak Market used to be the place to come if you wanted a better quality belly of pork and didn't want to brave the hectic Klong Toy Market. There is talk of the landowners being offered a lot of money for redevelopment, but from what I've heard, the answer is no. Don't see many cats around.
So our escapades down soys 46, 44, 42, 1 and 42 have brought us out here at the Bangrak intersection where Ceylon Road meets Charon Krung Road. And looming over the skyline here for the last 20 years now is the State Tower, whose architect, one Rang San Torsawan, is often described as someone who throws together a mishmash of styles and hopes for the best. Well, I think it looks pretty good. And if you remember, his other main body of work is the Saturn Unique Tower, also known as the Ghost Tower, which has been acclaimed by architects worldwide as a masterpiece. So make of that what you will. This area was once a hive of clandestine, suspicious, underhand activity with brothels, gambling dens, drinking clubs and opium dens all over here. In the middle of it all was the Prince Theatre, whose heyday was in the second half of the 19th century. They were putting plays on every week that appealed mostly to the upper classes. In 1912, however, it became a casino. Five years later, casinos were outlawed and this place opened as the Prince Rama Theatre, showing silent movies. The Prince Rama became one of many popular standalone independent cinemas you used to find all over Bangkok until of course the multiplexes came along with the air conditioning and comfy seats and put a lot of them out of business. By the way there's a couple of really good websites dedicated to these old theatres. By the mid-1980s, it had reinvented itself as a porno theatre, which must have been very handy for customers given its location because no one can see you coming or going. In 2010, the cinema was finally closed down and it was left derelict and a bit run down for a few years. In 2017, it was renovated and reopened a year later as the Prince Heritage Theatre stay, a very unique boutique hotel in a very unusual location that nowadays is not too hard to find. Well I've seen the doors close so often here that I thought it was close to the public so when I saw them open today I thought I'd leap in here and give you a quick heads up as to what this place is all about. This is a shrine dedicated to the memory of 108 Chinese travellers who were headed for Bang Rak. While on their journey, they were killed after being mistaken for pirates off the coast of Vietnam. And this was set up over 150 years ago. When the temple was built in 1797, it was named after the surroundings, Wat Klong Lom, meaning Windy Canal. Back in those days, it was on the edge of the old Silom Canal, which flowed towards the river. Huge boats used to come up the canal, right past the temple here. When the Silom Canal was filled in to build Silom Road, this place was renamed Wat Suan Plu. And if you're wondering about the design of these buildings, then look no further than the children's book, The Gingerbread Man, and you'll see exactly what I mean. All done, of course, in the best possible taste. So what Sue and Plu is here, this is Soy 42.1. And I'm making an educated guess, judging from old maps, that the old Klong Silom would have flowed down this street into the Chalpia River at the other end here.
Bang Rack intersection would have had a completely different layout altogether before the Klong Ceylon was filled in. So the canal would come down to the end of Ceylon Road here and then go under Chalurn Park 54 Bridge and then turn left down what is now Soy 42. So that will clear up a few arguments I've read online about the location of this photo. Well, it's turned into one of those wet and dry days today, which is typical for this time of year. I just wanted to get a walk around the side roads that are surrounding the hub of alleyways and passageways and the Prince Rama Theatre that we looked at earlier. And I'm at the end of Charat Wiang Road. Nothing spectacular so far, but as I've said in earlier videos, when you're exploring soys, you've got to be thorough. But if anything, if it continues like this, I'll have to come back tomorrow. So you can expect a lot of wet and dry scenes mixed together on this one. <laughs> 